Could uranium be detectable in two-thirds of the U.S. community water system monitoring records? Well, taking a look at Columbia Mailman School of Public Health, this could be a huge concern, as the highest concentrations were found for Hispanic communities, and this was done in April 6, 2022. In a study on metal concentrations in the United States Water Community Systems, or CWS, and the patterns of inequalities, researchers at Columbia University Mainland School of Public Health found that metal concentrations were particularly elevated in CWS serving semi-urban Hispanic communities, independent of location or region highlighting environmental justice concerns. These communities had the highest levels of uranium, selenium, barium, chromium, and arsenic concentrations. Even at low concentrations, uranium represents an important risk factor for the development of chronic diseases. Until now. Little epidemiological research has been done on chronic water uranium exposures despite the potential health effects of uranium exposure from CWS. Uranium in particular has been underappreciated in the literature as a public drinking water containment of concern. The study results are in the journal Atlantis Planetary Health. Previous studies have found associations between chronic uranium exposure and increased risk of hypertension, cardiovascular disease, kidney damage, and lung cancer at high levels of exposure. And the objectives were to eliminate the CWS metal concentrations across the U.S., identify the socio-demographic subgroups served by these systems that either report high metal concentration estimates or more likely to report averages that exceed the U.S. EPA's maximum containment level. We can see actually barium, chromium, selenium, and even uranium here and how it looks. So what did they find? Approximately 90% of U.S. residents rely on public drinking water, with most residents relying on specifically CWS that serve the same population year-round. And the researchers evaluate six-year EPA review records for anatomy, arsenic, barium, barium, cadmium, chromium, mercury, selenium, thallium, and uranium to determine if the average concentrations exceed the maximum containment level sets by the EPA, which regulates levels for six classes of contaminant. And these include approximately 13 million records from 139 public water systems serving 290 million people annually. The research developers average metal concentrations of 37,915 CWSs across the country, and they've created an online interactive map of estimated metal concentrations at the CWS and county levels in future analysis. Now, according to findings, 2.1% of community water systems report the average uranium concentrations from 2000 to 2011 in exceedance of the EPA maximum containment levels. And the uranium was frequently detected during compliance monitoring, 63% of the time. Arsenic, barium, chromium, selenium, and uranium concentrations were also disproportionately elevated in CWS servings, semi-urban Hispanic populations, and raising concern for these communities and the possibility of influencing inequalities in public drinking water. And Niagara and her colleagues note that the consistent association between elevated CWS metal concentrations and semi-urban Hispanic community implies that the concentration disparities are failure of regulatory policy or treatment rather than underlying geology. As I said, additional regulatory policies, compliance enforcement, and improved infrastructure are therefore necessary to reduce disparities in the CWS metal concentrations and protect communities by public water systems with elevated metal concentrations in Nagra. Such interventions and policies should specifically protect the most highly exposed communities to environmental justice and protect public health. So that is definitely a good opinion. But how do you know if your water has too much uranium? As they did, they did a lot of testing. And it's also a good idea to periodically test and make sure that your water doesn't have uranium or any other contaminant.